Hi, I'm Jim Jones with Emerson. In this video, I'm going to show you how to mount the Fisher 3582 pneumatic positioner on this Fisher 657 size 40i direct acting actuator. The actuator has already been mounted on this Fisher valve. The bench set of the actuator and the stroke of the entire assembly has already been properly adjusted. Of course, we want to always make sure we review and are familiar with all of the safety precautions and procedures found in the instruction manual for the 3582 positioner. Our first step will be to attach the connector arm to the stem connector. That's rather easy on this direct acting actuator. But if you're working on a reverse acting actuator for safety, make sure you add air to get the plug up off the seat to relieve the pressure on the stem connector before you loosen the bolts. It's best to add enough air to push the diaphragm to the top of the case. Of course, make sure you then put the stem connector back on in the same place as before. One little trick here is to make sure the connector arm is as far to the left as possible without touching the yoke of the actuator. This will give us a little more space between the arm and the 3582 positioner. Now, I've already attached the mounting plate onto the positioner. Now we're ready to mount it to the actuator. Which set of holes we use here in the mounting plate is critical. In the instruction manual, it tells me that for this actuator, a Fisher 657 size 40i actuator, I must use hole set number two. While I'm bolting on the positioner, it's a good time to remind you that if you're installing a brand new 3582 positioner, make sure you take off the cover and remove the styrofoam block we put in there for shipping. Okay, step one was to attach the connector arm. Step two was to mount the positioner on the actuator. Step three now is to move the actuator to the middle of its stroke. Just get it as close as you can by sight. Step four, position the rotary shaft arm to be parallel to the connector arm. We can double check that by making sure the vertical marks on the rotary shaft arm line up with the marks on the side of the positioner case. Step five, insert the travel pin in the slot of the rotary shaft arm above the mark for the rated valve travel and tighten the cap screw. Two things are important in the placement of this travel pin. First, we want it in the slot over the mark that indicates the rated travel of the valve. In this case, our valve has a one and a half inch stroke, so we'll put the pin over the mark for that travel. Secondly, we want to make sure the pin is perpendicular to the connector arm. Finally, we just tighten up the travel pin cap nut to hold everything in place. So the Fisher 3582 positioner is mounted in just five easy steps. First, attach the connector arm to the actuator. Second, mount the positioner onto the actuator. Third, stroke the actuator to mid-travel. Fourth, position the rotary shaft arm to be parallel to the connector arm. And finally, insert the travel pin in the slot of the rotary shaft arm above the mark for the rated valve travel. Well, visit Fisher.com to learn more about the Fisher 3582 positioner or to contact your local Emerson sales representative. Thanks for watching.